Hey guys, this is Steven from TechSteveHD.com. In this video, we're going to talk about how to back up and restore most Apple products using iTunes version 12. Now, in this video, you're going to see basically how easy it is to create a backup file. Now, I know you're asking, you can use the iCloud, but keep in mind, in this video, I'm going to show you why you don't want to use that as your main backup. So, with further ado, let's get started. Before you get started, you got to get iTunes first. So you want to head over to apple.com forward slash iTunes. Now this works on PC or Mac, so no problem there. Then you want to click on download iTunes. And then it should automatically detect what type of computer that you uh, file that you need for your computer. And just click on download. Now I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do this step. But just go ahead and download that and install it. Now when you have iTunes up, one thing you need to do is go over here to this little icon that has a little picture and you want to go ahead and uh, log into your iTunes account. That way any apps that you might have purchased will be authorized with this computer. In order to authorize your computer, you go over here to the top and then you want to click on store and then you want to authorize this computer. Now the thing about authorizing this computer, you are allowed five computers uh, and you can only change or delete those once a year. So just keep in mind, whenever you do that, make sure it's a computer that you're going to continue to use. Now to get started, just let you know this works with iPads, iPods, and iPhones. So I have an iPod here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB cable right into the bottom of it with the lightning port. Now once it's connected, you should get this little pop-up showing which device that you just plugged into it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it should automatically go right to summary. Now keep in mind when you do summary, it's just going to show what apps you have installed, what music, movies, uh, just basically photos and things like that that you previously installed in it. Now I have mine to automatic synchronize, but I'm going to hit this little X to go ahead and stop that process. Now you have a couple ways you can back up. Now I know a lot of people think the iCloud backs up everything. It simply does not. So if you read right here, it says backups are mostly uh, your important data on your iPod, iPad, or iTouch there. Now, that's good, you know, for photos and things like that. So let's go over to the iCloud web account so I can show you what's actually inside of there. Now, here I am logged into my iCloud. Uh, and you can see you have your mail. Like, that's usually like your iCloud mail that you set up. You have your contacts your calendar events, uh, cloud drive, just basically, you know, it's kind of like the Dropbox, but it's for Apple. You can find your Apple products as long as you have Find My iPhone turned on on your device, your notes, reminders, uh, pages where you can kind of make like some different uh, publishing applications, uh, sales numbers, keynotes, and your settings. So that's all really the iCloud is backing up right here. So let's go back over to iTunes so we can go ahead and show you how to do the backup. Now what I like to do is uh, manually back up my products. Uh, the iCloud I leave in there, but I don't really use it that much uh, just because I just know you get five gigs of storage and after that it's 99 cents like for 20 gigabytes and you can pay more for that. So what you want to do is you want to check this to back up on this computer. You can encrypt the file with a password. You know, that's good if you have like a lot of people using the same iTunes account. So you want to make sure you synchronize your right products. You can change that right there. And then what we want to do is click on backup. Now this is why you have to log into the iTunes uh, store is because it needs to authorize this computer to transfer those purchases that you made over to this computer uh, with no problem. So let's go ahead and transfer purchases. And again, if you had music in there and apps you purchased, that's basically what that's going to be used for. So at the top here, you can see syncing and backing up right there. Those two things, that's the way you know that it's starting to back up your files. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, let it do its thing. And then I'm going to show you where to check to make sure your backup was actually done and how to restore it. So we'll be right back. Okay, so now my backup is complete. Now you should see a latest backup date here, but sometimes it doesn't back up properly, especially if you haven't did it in a long time. 
So you're going to make sure you don't trust that right off the bat before you try to restore your new device because it might end up empty. In order to check it, you go here to the top, and this is available on PCs as well. So you want to go to like the iTunes and then Preferences. And then you want to go ahead and click on Devices. And now if you see right here, it's showing the backup that was last done. If you see that number there, chances are it actually is going to be a good backup. Now, as you back up over time, you'll have a whole list here, and you can actually just highlight each one and delete them one at a time, you know, for if it's an old product that you don't own anymore. So let's go ahead and start the restore process. So as long as your device is plugged in, um, you can go ahead and restore, and then you'll have that checks box list of all the different backups. So let's say, for example, you change something on your phone, and then like a month later, you mess something up, and you want to go back to that original then you can actually find it on that list as long as you did that backup. And then you're going to simply press restore. And now it's starting to restore. And then it'll start estimating the time to put those files back on there. Now, since I didn't do a major backup, you can see right here it's estimating about two minutes. But like if you had a product that was completely wiped off or in uh, you know recovery mode, this could take from 20 minutes up to four or five hours. depends on how fast your computer is. So let me go ahead and finish that up. Now once your product gets done actually doing all the backup and restore process, it will reset the product. Now if you notice here the iPod uh, icon is going, it's because it's resetting right now. And once that comes back up, you should be good to go. Thank you for watching my video on how to back up and restore with iTunes. For more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up below and hit the subscribe button. In the meantime, I do have more videos coming out in 2015, but for now, peace.